I mean, the whole idea that this has evolved into a band with a record deal and some sort of aspect of touring it's kind is of ridiculous. mind boggling to me. <laughs> Just, from where from where yeah. from where it began, from when I think of the first time when you were in that apartment here in New York and you had no sheets on your bed. <laughs> Which was bizarre to me, also. As <laughs> I mean, you had you had no sheets, you had one you had one pillow with no pillowcase and no sheets and no cover. And, it was and just my like cinematographer a bed. was literally like like. Your, we, and your we cinematographer like, was like was like Jim is in the movie like, really like huddled oh, together. Yeah, you guys were like sleeping together. Who's <laughs> um, <laughs> also my old my oldest friend and uh, and a member of your band, uh, Gavin Kelly. Yeah, the, the cinematographer. Yeah, we, we grew up playing in, in bands together and. Uh, in, in your San first Diego. punk band, um, but uh, but like so when it sort of originated there and and we were playing this little tiny you know place and uh, and we're sort of taking our first steps with it. So the fact that it sort of then we played it all in the movie, all the music in the movie, and then that uh, that it it came out so well and 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 that then it sort of had an, a life after that is just uh, it's a it is it's a dream. It's sort of crazy. I can't. I still can't really believe it. So, um, as far as like we premiered at, at Toronto, and then uh, and then this crazy music, you know, part part of our lives has kind of come to be. It really had a lot to do with um, a few different factors. Like our, our producer Jason Berman um, had some connections through the through the music scene and, and, and got people to come and watch some early screens of it um, right before we were, we were going to Toronto. And, uh, and then um, a f few different people found it interesting, some people didn't. <laughs> and then uh, when we got into Toronto, I mean, which was just incredible, the, the programmer there, uh, Jane Schodel, is just, I mean, she's an angel on this earth. She's so amazing. And uh, we got into there and then from that point on, the Rhino kind of came aboard, and Kevin Gore, who who um, is the the main guy at Rhino, and has also been um, amazingly he's so cool, he's so incredible. He's like been he our came, point person through the whole thing. He came thing. to he came to our, like we played this little we we premiered at Toronto, and then we played in this little bar underground for like whatever thirty people or whatever. It was like at the end of the party, and and Kevin came and stood in the front row and just listened to all the. Tunes knew all the songs, knew all the songs was and was so supportive. And like I, I literally was. I'm terrified to play in public. Like it scares me. Um, it's not my forte, and like my hands sweat. And it's gross. Uh, it's gross. It's gross. Profusely. Really, <laughs> it's really disgusting. Um, and uh, and so like it's actually it was terrifying. And he was so supportive. Like uh, he just stood there and he gave us such good energy and. Um, you know, I, 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 my wife's a singer. I know what the sort of other side of that industry is. So, uh, someone who sort of brings themselves to the like that is it, it's, it's really rare. And yeah, it, and it with really such warmth like and sort of caring toward the whole process, it it really made me feel okay about doing it. And yeah. and I think really lent he itself came in and to and when we recorded the record. Like uh, him and his two like amazing daughters like came in. And, I mean, they they love the songs. They've been singing them in the car the whole yeah. time. And uh, they they sang backup vocals like you'll hear on the record like during the, the, one of our songs uh, airport there's uh, you hear all these like kids singing in the background as literally um, his two daughters like double <laughs> yeah. like a bunch of different people so and, and like he came into the studio so and watched chill. it and it yeah. just was so personal and uh, and really lent itself to like kind of the personal quality of how kind of DIY these the songs are what does that essentially. mean D DIY yeah. Um, Dead done. on, oh, uh, what? Done in, in Uranus. Don't say that. What? Uranus starts with a U. It's obviously not true. Right. Um, so what is the plan for the tour and what is the plan for the band? See that's done. S huge stadium sort of situation. Yankee Stadium. He's that's what I want to do. That's my plan. Oh, oh this is the Yankee it's Stadium? my plan. That's... <laughs> <laughs> um, plans don't always pan out, but that's my plan. Yes. We we are we are gonna go on tour um, to kind of promote the 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 release of the film. Um, so we're tour around as the band and, and showing the film, and uh, and then as it releases out into different cities, we'll be touring through there too, and we'll be going to the 
the UK to for the it's England. Been, England. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's coming out all over the UK, and we're gonna we're gonna go there and promote the film with, with the band and all that. And then it's coming out in France, and we're gonna go there. It's, it's I mean, it's really it's kind of surreal actually to be perfectly honest because it's. But I speak all those languages, so it's fine. He actually does. I speak really good English and French. He tells me that all the time. I do. All the time. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to do the rest of the interview? Because without in me, French? you'll probably starve over there. You'll you'll eat avocados and ketchup and you'll pass out or something. Not, That's all they I have I wouldn't there. starve though if That's I ate those things, right? Because they're really high in nutrients. That's what yeah, you're always are. telling That's me. True. You could survive on purely. <laughs> <laughs> Without me, you'd be lost. That's what I'm trying to, That's the point I'm trying to make. And I think, especially in a foreign country, you'd, you'd really you suffer. Made it. You made that point. Okay, good.